invite you to spend 15 minutes with me in my art studio today. I hope your day is going good and that it will get even better with the company of this video. If your day is not going so good, I hope this video can bring you some comfort and peace. I decided to paint on the round canvas first, but it was sitting in my closet for so long that a little friend made a home of it. So I took this mini spider outside before I started painting. Today I'm going to be painting two paintings for which references I took on my favorite island. It's called San Miguel. I've been to vacation with my family there uh, this February. I took a lot of pictures and a lot of video footage because the nature was just incredible. And I decided I will paint from two references I took there. I'm starting with the reference that I took that I thought was really interesting. It really shows the cool and warm tones that are separating the objects in the distance and the objects that are closer to the camera. And there is also this presence of sunlight here that is directly hitting the leaves. And yeah, I just thought it was a really interesting reference and I love painting landscapes because they are just calming to paint for me usually and because there are no human-made objects in the landscapes I really feel like I can be free to explore and to paint whatever is there and whatever is not there and yeah the landscapes are really the easiest and the most relaxing subjects for me to paint. I decided to name this painting a play of warm and cold for obvious reasons. I decided to make this painting on a round canvas that I had stored for quite some time now. This canvas was sitting in my closet because I don't like painting on round canvases really. My biggest inconvenience with round canvases is that maybe I will like the painting so much that I will want to make prints from it and I can't make round prints. And even if I could make round prints, it would be really hard for people to purchase them and find the frames for them. And yeah, that is the reason why I didn't paint anything on this canvas. After I finished the first layer of the first painting, I went on and continued with my second painting that you will see be painted in this video. And this painting is actually of a really common flower bush in the Azores, the island, and it's camellia. It's actually like their rose, like roses for us, but it is not a rose. And the bushes are really cute and they're really everywhere on this island. So I got inspired to paint it. And I usually paint a flower on my mini canvases. So yeah, that really became a tradition when I have a really small surface to paint. If you remember from my last video, I have made a challenge for myself to use up all the canvases and painting surfaces I was left with. Uh, from my storage. I'm gonna be moving soon and also yeah I just like to use things I have before buying new ones and I just thought of this challenge. It is basically that I finish 12 paintings on these 12 surfaces I have in 12 weeks. 
This challenge has been pretty interesting so far. The play of warm and cold and the camellia mini painting are actually the second and the third piece in this challenge. So after I finish them, there is nine, nine of them left. And yeah, it's getting harder because I'm actually running out of options and there are some big canvases that are sitting behind uh, the smaller ones. So I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with them, but they're gonna take a lot of energy to paint. So I'm excited for that and also a little bit scared. After the first layer of the play of warm and cold dried, I started to paint the second layer. I started with the most distant objects, with cooler tones, and then I went more and more to the front and used more and more of green, warmer tones. Soon I'm gonna be moving uh, from this art studio I'm in right now and I really wanna use the canvases I have left because I just had a few canvases that I was avoiding and I don't like to have a lot of stuff because they're sitting there for so long that I know I'm not gonna use them willingly if I will have better options and those are usually round canvases or really big canvases that are really intimidating and yet yeah, they're just sitting there so I really am taking the courage to use my more complicated canvases with more complicated shapes and sizes Both of the references I'm using today were took in my favorite park in the island. It's called Furnas. And if any of you have been there, please tell me in the comments below um, because I fell in love. It was the best park I have ever been. And it was actually in the middle of an island and there was a lot of volcanic activity there. And it was like grass and those camellia bushes. And then there were these areas where the mist from the water boiling from the volcano were, was like just going in the air and there were those amazing areas yeah so so it was like a park and the flowers and beautiful moss and beautiful grass and then there were those clouds of mist i just thought it was totally magical i felt like alice in wonderland and all of the princesses uh, from all of the fairy tales and i never wanted to go uh, I never wanted to leave this park. So both of those paintings today are inspired by the Furnace Park. And yeah, the references are from there. But yeah, I actually managed to complete both of those paintings in two days. And I am really proud of that because Usually painting takes me so long and I'm just kind of losing myself in the process. I just uh, am going in the process, not thinking a lot beforehand and then I run into trouble and I spend more time than I should if I would just think a little bit more of what I'm doing. And yeah, that is happening to me a lot and I'm starting to acknowledge that and trying to make my painting process more systematic and organized and I try to be more present when I'm painting. Lately I've been really putting a lot of value into optimizing my life in a sense of making it more enjoyable and really doing things I love doing and going towards stopping things that I don't love doing and yeah, really being nicer to myself. And that is really going well for me. At 
as I said before, usually when I have a small canvas, this one is 10 by 10 centimeters, or even a little larger ones, I paint flowers on them. I really love painting flowers and because the canvas is so small, it's really hard to do something that is wider. I could paint a landscape or a little cottage or something on the canvas so small, but I just don't love the look of it. I don't love the look of really small textured canvas having something detailed and white painted on it. And yeah, I really enjoy occasional flower blossom. This camellia actually turned out really good. I love to paint two paintings at a time, and that is something I figured out recently. Especially if the paintings are happening in the same place, because there is the same color palette. So while the layers are drying in one, I can just use exactly the same color palette and start painting the other one and then when I need the second one to dry I just go back to the first one that has already dried so yeah I really like that and then I end up with two matching paintings that kind of give the similar vibe and I feel for those two that the small camellia painting is just the extension of the play of warm and cold So you have reached the end of the video, thank you so much, you're so sweet. I hope you like these paintings, the play of warm and cold and the camellia study. Uh, I think they're very cute and I'm satisfied with them, I like them and you know, this makes an artist really happy um, that they make art they like. So I can't complain. If you like my paintings and you would like to support me, you can check out my Patreon. The link is down below in the description. I post exclusive monthly videos there. For this month, it will be kind of a tutorial for the play of Warm and Cold. And I will just go through the process more in detail and share how exactly I paint my paintings. So yeah, if you're interested in that. And I also make weekly updates in my Patreon. And I also send art mail every month. So if you would be interested in that, you can check it out. It's, out, it's down below. Uh, yeah, it's down below the link. And you can check out my Instagram, follow me there for more frequent, uh, quick updates and reels and everything, you know how it goes. And you can check out my shop, all the links are down in the description. And also subscribe to this channel if you like this video, because I do similar videos than this one. Um, every week I post a video every end of the week. Um, and yeah, if you would like to be present for that, if you enjoy my videos, uh, if you think they're cool, subscribe and yeah, that is it, I guess. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you soon. Bye.